Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a server wide countdown. This one was kind of suggested to me in a way by like someone who was needed help because they were more of action for like a server wide countdown while the video I did before was a more of like a local countdown, more of like a countdown for like an individual player rather than like the entire server. Because obviously, you're going to need countdowns for individual players as well as like the entire server. Say if you had like a matchmaking system or like a round system you of course are going to want to display the time for everybody so let's get straight into it okay so let's see let's see hmm let me think okay so say we had a part right say we had a yeah so we had a part right let's scale this and then let's anchor it right so say when a player steps on this part right when they step on the part, it's going to start this countdown, right? And pretty much kind of like capture the flag, but I'm not doing, I'm not obviously scripting it to where like other players can contest and all that stuff. The, the point is, is that when a player steps on it, it's going to start a countdown, right? And the entire server is going to be able to see it, right? So hmm, let's see. Uh, I guess we could just have it start a GUI. Let's head on over to start a GUI and let's make the GUI first. Let's insert a screen GUI. You guys can call you guys can call this countdown GY. Then you can insert a text label and put it, we'll say at the top, but kind of like in the middle. Right? And you guys can name this countdown text label, right? And then you can clear the text. You can make it bold, change the font if you want to, scale the text. And uh, that's really it. I'm gonna make mine a little gray. But yeah, and probably make my text color red. But that's it, right? And then we're gonna head on over to server script service, insert a server script, and we're gonna call this countdown script, right? We're gonna delete print hello world and we're gonna make a variable. We're gonna do local. Actually, what, what do we call this? Uh, countdown starter, I guess. Countdown starter. So then we can really copy this name and put it over here. Local countdown starter is equal to game dot workspace dot countdown starter. And what we're going to say is countdown starter dot uh, touched connect function in parentheses put hit then enter. Right. And we're going to make another variable. We're going to say local countdown started. Right. Make sure you have this started and the other one is starter. Right equals false by default of course it's gonna be it's gonna I mean by default it's gonna be false of course right so pretty much so pretty much if this variable is set to false we're gonna set to true this this way it'll be where like the variable is gonna like like if a player was to step on it and start the countdown then the player goes to step on it again or if they were to step off of it and step back on it it'll just keep restarting over and over and have like multiple countdowns going on at once this is to prevent that so we're gonna say if countdown started is equal to false right then countdown started is equal to true and just let me set it to true and then we are going to do a 4i v in pairs loop 4i comma v in pairs loop 4i comma v in pairs game dot players colon get children then enter and do v dot this one not autofill by the way v dot player g y dot countdown g y make sure this matches the exact same way you typed it uh here if you typed it differently especially dot countdown actually yeah yeah countdown text label the way i'm gonna do it is you guys can either have the g y disabled and enable the g y or you could have the text label uh or you could have the text label uh just not visible that's what i'm gonna do i don't have the text label not visible that's the way i'm gonna go but anyway so dot count on that text label right and then i'm gonna say dot i'm gonna say dot text is equal to i well actually mm, actually no uh we're gonna say i too even though that doesn't really exist right now but we're gonna make that it's fine right you probably would want to yeah by default we're gonna have it set to false so you're gonna to wanna to enable it. So we're gonna do dot, or make it visible, I should say. Dot visible, dot visible is equal to true, right? So of course we need to actually make the countdown. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda of forgot, I kinda of forgot to do that but anyway. So for i2 is equal to, not gonna lie, I stay forgetting this, but I, I think I got it though. 
four i two is equal to one thirty. I think like I think the first number is where you start, and then where you want it to. And then I think I think it's an order like comma zero do yeah I think that's how it works like the number you start at like what you want to happen like you know we want to take away one and where you want it to stop at I think that's how it works right but yeah and then make sure you put this obviously inside this for uh, loop right we're gonna set it to visible oh actually hold on sorry guys make sure you put you set the text first before you actually make it visible because that wouldn't really make sense right. So we're, we're gonna have it. We're gonna have the true, right? And then we're going to, and then we are going to say, and then we're going to have wait one. It's gonna keep subtracting, and then we'll say if i two, oh, if i two is equal to zero, then um, we will set this to false. We will make it not visible anymore, as well as we will say countdown started uh, is equal to false. You could also uh, get rid of the text if I want. I mean, like, yeah, clear out the text if I want to. Probably best to do that, but yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and test this. If we click play, right, we walk on over to the part. Boom. As you guys can see, third. Okay, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Okay, this is kind of weird. Nothing on the server either. Oh. Hmm. I don't know what. I don't even know why I tried to do that. Thirty. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I know what it is. I know this. Hold on, guys. Zero. Negative one. That must be. See, I was thinking that while typing. Hold on, guys. We're about to see in a second. I was. I hate when this happens. But anyway, I was thinking that while typing too. Not even gonna lie with y'all. Oh, but I swear this is so annoying. I can't wait to fix whatever that is. But okay, now if this works, then yeah, I just had it. I just had it on thirty. Okay, yeah, there we go. So yeah, make sure you have okay the number you start at, the number you end at, and then the change in it with the number. I like to me it would make more sense if you have the number you start at. The change and where you want to end that, that, that makes more sense to me but anyway so, so as you guys can see it's counting down from 30 to zero and if i keep walking on and off it's not going to restart it's not going to start a new timer nothing then if you wait it to get to zero three two one and zero and boom there you go it disappears and then same thing right now obviously i can't really show you guys that it works for the entire server because it's just me but the point is it works so yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. I hope this was helpful to the person who uh, was it called? I, I, I forgot their name, but they asked in my server and stuff like that. Yeah, I hope this was helpful. I'll see y'all.